Good afternoon, it's Jody from Bird Dog Off Road Adventures, and today we're going to show you guys the Anderson Composites carbon fiber fender leads for the new Ford Broncos. So today we have the Anderson Composites uh, fender flare deletes. So it comes with hardware. I went ahead and took the liberty of putting the front pieces hardware together just so it could be easier for me to recognize later on. Basically they come with a bolt, a little countersink. I don't know if you call that a washer. Let me get the focus there. But basically what it does, you put the bolt and the countersink in each one of the holes. And on the back side they send you a big fender washer with a uh, nut, serrated nut. And those will go along the holes as we'll show you here in a little bit. But that's where the factory hardware on the front ones go. The back ones are a little bit different. The back kit, it comes with uh, four sets of these uh, rivet nuts. And as the current fender liners, or for current fender release that we have use that as well. They use a lot more of those obviously. But basically those, you have, the holes are empty up here, but you would feed this into the hole. And then on the rivet nut on the back, now there's some here that do not include rivet nuts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, I'm sorry, six. And uh, so you'll probably just screw those into the factory holes. We'll find out here in just a minute. And if not, we'll be reaching out to them. The only drawback I see at this point is I'm not a real big fan of having silver hardware. So what I may do is I may reach out to our friends at McCaster Car to see if I can find the exact same bolt in the anodized black to use in, after our install, maybe swap those out just to give it a more complete black look because that's the look I like. Because otherwise, I'm, just, I'm not real fond of having the shiny bolts showing on the outside of the fenders. So you'll notice that these uh, big squares right here line up with every single bolt all the way down across the fender. So we'll take those off and we'll use our wrench and snake it up between right here and each square. I don't know if you can see, there's like a little hole right there. So it'd be perfect to stick your uh, 10 millimeter wrench set in. You might have to take the, the, you may have to take the thing out. I don't know. You can stick that in right there and screw it in from the back. It'll be a little tricky. I probably won't be able to show you on camera because I'll have to use both hands. But anyway, looks like it's pretty quick and easy to install. It doesn't like it's too hard. So just line them up. Then you can position where you want to. And like the other ones I had that have these uh rivet nuts they're not adjustable these you can kind of adjust and tighten up so they should be a better fit as you'll see later we did replace the hardware with a black anodized stainless steel so we just put this on just to see how it looked to begin with all right so we got the back one on here right now so these back three holes all lined up to existing holes these front two do not and as you can see they're not even close to a hole so I'm going to have to mark them with one of these magic markers here. And then uh, they come with these little nut certs. And I'm going to have to drill a hole. I'm going to start out with a 5 16 because that's the closest I have to that size. Um, you know, to see if that'll work. And then once we get that in, in those two areas, we should be good to go. We just feed the, the bolts in. And then we have our nut cert tool down here. We had this left over from the previous fender flares, and we'll use it as well. There we go. All right, we're gonna try this in here. Hope like hell it works. All right, so we went ahead and put these in just a little bit, not all the way. Uh, 
And then we're going to try to tackle this one down here. I guess I should probably make sure this doesn't shut. Hit it. Nope, it doesn't. That's it. As right, so I'm sitting here on the passenger side out of the sunlight, this one was pretty tight. So we line these holes up, and as on the other side too, there's no hole for these bottom ones. So I uh, used a marker to mark them. Of course, I pushed them up to align them better, you know, and push that up to align it better as well. So that's where we're going to put our uh, inserts. If you're not comfortable drilling into your uh, fender, keep in mind these fenders are aluminum. I'm talking about these parts are steel, but this part up here is aluminum. But this is steel. But you know, if you're not comfortable drilling into your fenders, don't do it. Just pay somebody else to do it. But like I said, the payoff's good. So I'm going to take this piece back off, uh, try to put those uh, nut certs in there, and then we should be ready to roll in this. So we got the nut cert screwed on here. We'll screw that all the way on. And then we're going to stick it through that hole right there. All right, so those of you who saw us do the other one, you're going to know that we've done this before. So we just want to push that in there, get in there good and snug, and then slowly but surely pop it on. And then you just unscrew this to get it out. If you did screw up, you could possibly drill it out. You're not going to try to do that unless you absolutely have to, though. So something I like to do is once you have it out, screw it back in a couple times. Let's make sure it's good and threaded. So what I'm doing here is I'm basically threading it with one of the bolts that came with the kit before I try retry to do the black one. I did it on the other side, too, uh, just to make sure that we're all copacetic. The last thing you want to do is have a bolt get stuck in there, and then you're having to either try to drill it out, which is not as easy as it sounds. At least I hadn't had good luck with it, just probably because I don't know what the hell I'm doing when it comes to that. So. Ooh. You see how this lip kind of hugs up against that fender liner? Now, it'd be interesting to see when this wheel's fully tucked, if it hits that, because that could be an issue. But we'll cross that bridge, I guess, when we get there. So we'll go ahead and tighten the rest of these bolts up. And then we'll be done with the, the two rears. So, looks like we're in there pretty good. Voila. I honestly say this looks really better. It looks like 10 or times better than the old ones. The pure steel ones just didn't have any class to them, in my opinion. They are just bland. Whereas these look really good. You know? And to you what, they're not as big as a gap right here either, which I love. It looks a lot better. So, yeah. Definitely think these are... A huge improvement. Would recommend these to anybody. These will really set you apart in like a car show environment. So, yeah, I'd highly recommend them. Yeah, they, they do cost a little bit, but you know what? You get what you pay for. All right, so we got them on. I think they look pretty sharp. Uh, you know, when the sunlight hits it more directly, it does make it pop. I do think that changing over to the black hardware was definitely an improvement. Uh, you know, that's kind of 
how I feel about that. But anyway, I think it looks a little odd, maybe, and it's probably not a huge deal. It's just a little bit of gap right here because the bumper filler plate stops here, the bumper goes out, and then it stops right here. Which, if I didn't have a body lift, it wouldn't be an issue. So that that's going to be unique to me or other people who have, have might have a body lift. So I wouldn't take too much heart into that. Same thing back here in the back. You know, because I have a body lift, this filler plate, if it came out to here, it'd be perfect. But since it doesn't, there's going to be a little gap right there. Is it either that or the bumper be shorter? You know, first world problems. Like I said, not the fault of uh, Anderson Composites or my fault. Anything else, it's just the way my build is. So, wanted to point that out on the passenger side. Like I said there again, looks good. I love it. This thing fits a lot better than the old ones I had. The other ones I had had a little bit of a, more of a gap right here, whereas this one's pretty dang snug. And yes, I have tested the doors, opened the doors back and forth. They do not rub. Just a pretty you know, line. They do not rub. So, but you can see the doors open. It does not rub. Pretty close, but it doesn't actually contact it. So, can't argue with that. Very nice. Up here in the front, also looking good. Like I said. As always, we'd like to thank you guys for watching. Uh, please consider hitting that like button if you like this video. Also, please consider subscribing. If you're not a subscriber, please consider it because it does help our channel grow. Uh, it doesn't cost you anything to subscribe. And plus, if you want to get the alerts on the new videos, please hit that alert button as well. We also got a lot more videos coming up soon, so stay tuned.